all, guys. Chris Silk Penham, Stick'em Outdoors, and this is it. This is the episode that y'all voted on for us to air next. This takes place here in North Florida, down at Swine in the Pines, as we do a little hog hunting and take a break from deer season. Uh, the guys down there have been real good to us, invited us to come back, stretch the string, dull a broadhead, and have a little fun here during deer season. When I got to Swine in the Pines, I got all my gear together, got dressed, and headed to my favorite stand on the property. Now, this particular stand is surrounded by thick, nasty underbrush. It's full of stuff that hogs love, and on top of that, it butts right up to a swamp. These pigs like to get in during midday, bed down, get out of the sun, get in some mud, and cool off. So on my way in, I took some Big Buck Magnus Minerals, mixed it with some corn, really just to see how the hogs would react to it, and threw it out in the opening that was out in front of us, see if it would draw them out of that swamp a little bit earlier in daylight hours. Uh, and as you'll see, I think it's safe to say it worked pretty well. What's going on, guys? Chris Silk with Penman Stick Him Outdoors. It's November 8th, and we're out here in North Florida this afternoon doing a little hog hunting. Uh, the trail cameras are showing absolutely nothing in the likes of deer. Uh, the rut stopped. All activities pretty much come to a standstill. So instead of beating my head against the wall trying to make something happen, I decided to back out, give the properties a break, give it a rest um, until things got right around Thanksgiving time frame when the second rut rolls around. And decided I'd slip down to my buddy's place at Swan in the Pines and do a little hog hunting instead. Check it out. Throughout the afternoon, I had pigs in and out of that area all day long. Anywhere from five to 20 pigs would be there feeding. There was one in particular that caught my interest that was a black and white spotted hog. It was unlike anything I'd shot before, so I made my mind up that was the pig I wanted to take. The problem with that is when pigs find food like that, they're not real keen on moving away from the food. They kind of huddle up. So that's what happened here. Uh, trying to get a clean shot was proving difficult, so we had to wait. Luckily, a smaller boar pushed a spotted pig off the food and towards the back of the opening. They gave us an opportunity to get a shot. I love shooting pigs. It never gets old. That's a good pig. It kept coming in, and every time I get uh, a yardage on him or be able to draw on him, he'd move, he'd leave, he'd turn. I mean, it was a dang mess. He finally came back in and gave me a broadside shot, and it was, I told myself, get him in frame, draw, settle the pin, and shoot, because you don't know how long he's gonna stay there. I'm gonna go back and check the footage, but I'm pretty sure that was a money shot. So uh, stay tuned. Old Grim Reaper. Get his job. Oh, there's some blood. There's, there's blood. 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 Oh, there he is. <laughs> Heck yeah. Not a bad hog at all. Let me drag him out here real quick. 
All right, guys, we got them all drug out. Uh, he only went about 50, 55 yards. He ended up just running a big circle, basically. Um, perfect shot placement, just where you want it. And uh, just always a fun hunt, as always. Um, I want to send a big, big thank you to the guys at Swine in the Pines for letting me come down here and do this hunt. Um, they've been great to me over the last couple years um, and letting me come out and do these hunts. Um, they've got any hog you could ever want between little meat hogs around 60 pounds or they got big trophies. Um, you saw on the footage that there's all kinds of different hogs, different color phases, uh, different sizes, whether you want a meat hog for the barbecue or a trophy for your trophy room, uh, they got you covered. So definitely check them out at www.swineinthepines.com to set up your next Florida hunt. All right, guys, well, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had a good time putting it together and doing the whole voting process. I'd like to do some more episodes like this going forward, so let me know what you think. If you're not already, head over to the Facebook page, give us a like, follow us on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, Swine in the Pines, go check them out. If you're ever looking to do a hog hunt in Florida, they're the guys to go see. Check them out at www.swineinthepines.com or follow them on Facebook. Till next time, guys, pen on the stick.